Welcome to Vegas. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm a Las Vegas showgirl. So a typical day for me would be I wake up around noon pretty late because I work late. First thing I do is make coffee. I usually cook myself breakfast. Then I start checking emails. A lot of emails will be castings for various gigs. So my schedule is pretty clear today. I have two jobs tonight, but before then I have plenty of time to get in some ballet class and some stretching. Brush it to and four. I started out in legitimate ballet companies where we would train and rehearse all day. Most of the dancers here have that sort of background. They trained not ballet, studied, got a BFA in dance from, from college and really trained before they moved here to be a professional dancer. All of the dancers in town have that in common. There you go. So my car is my office. I keep everything I need. I have all sorts of things, extra pairs of dance clothes. I always keep, most importantly though, my headshot and resume because I never know when I'm gonna have an audition. One of the biggest misconceptions about showgirls is that we have just one job, but in reality, I have anywhere from zero jobs to one job to six or seven jobs at, at a time, depending on what's going on. When you're in a show, it can pay anywhere from $50 a show to over $200 a show, and it really depends on the show. And then the gigs that we do on the side generally start at about $20 an hour on the low end and can go up to hundreds of dollars an hour depending on what you're doing. So what brings you downtown tonight? Aaron's playing. What are you doing? Oh, I'm in the show tonight. I'm in fantasy tonight. And then after that, I'm, I'm going over to Foundation Room. When you tell people you're a showgirl, sometimes they say things like, oh, are you a stripper? Or they assume that we party all the time because we work on the strip or that we go out every night after every show and, and none of that is true whatsoever. Usually the type of guys that approach me are guys that are just here on vacation. They're here for a bachelor party or here to party in general. I usually blow them off. I get that a lot just walking through the casinos and all of the girls here will tell you it's, it's something we just deal with daily. So it's 8.30. Now it's time to go to my first job of the evening, which is fantasy. So I gotta head out now to make my call time and it's the beginning of my evening. Hey guys. So I've got my hair and makeup all ready for the show. It's time to get my costume on. So the costume I'm gonna put on right now is the opening costume for uh, Beyonce's Run the World. It's like a military inspired, but yet bedazzled costume. It's really cute and girly and yet edgy and military. So I'm gonna put this on right now. Okay guys, it's show time. So I'm on to gig number two, which is the foundation room at Mandalay Bay. And we're part of the nightlife here. As the dancers, we do go-go dancing slash choreography, and we kind of add a lot to the atmosphere of the club. My nightly ritual here at the Mandalay Bay is I show up and all of the dancers, we kind of congregate in a common area. We all work a lot of different gigs, and we, we like to just catch up with each other on what's going on, what we've been up to this week. After we catch up for a while, we start rehearsing all the numbers that we're gonna do tonight, and then we get ready for the show. All right, ladies, it's go time. Let's do Foxy Lady. I don't know how my evening's gonna turn out. Some nights I don't make any tips. Other times I'll make a $500 tip off of just one person. So yeah, it's crazy and unpredictable. My original plan when I moved here was to be here for six months and make some money and go back to the ballet company I was working with in New Jersey. And I ended up not doing that and staying here, shocking myself and everyone. But I think the reason I did that is because I really, truly enjoyed it. Being in a show like Jubilee offered me stability and all these wonderful things. But in addition to that, I was still doing dancing, which was my passion and what I love, and enjoying my work every day and working with people that were like me that had similar backgrounds and a similar passion. Okay guys, so it's a little after 2.30 a.m. I'm just getting home. It's been a great day, an exhausting day, two jobs, a lot to do. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed catching a little glimpse of my life as a Las Vegas showgirl. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.